Hello everyone, welcome to Git tutorial. In this session, I will be discussing about Git branches. What is Git branch? Why we need Git branches? What is the use of Git branches in real world? This we will be discussing in this session. To understand Git branches better, we need to have some knowledge about Git flow. Like what are Git repositories? What is Git? GitHub? What is Git clone? Git pull? What is Git add? Commit? Push? Like this, you need to be aware of enter Git flow. If you are not aware of these things, not an issue. I already explained those in my previous sessions. I gave my previous session URLs in the description below. Please watch those and come back to this session for better understanding. For now, let me continue. Coming to the first question, what is Git branch? Git branch is nothing but a copy of source code. Source code is nothing but the code what we have written to develop the application. For example, we are developing a shopping website. For that, we may use Java, .NET, Python like this for the backend. And for UI, we might have used Angular, React, JavaScript like this. We have used some technologies. And for UX designing, we might have used HTML, CSS, Carbon. Like this, we might have used some technologies. So what are all the technologies we used and using them, we have written some code and developed that application. So that developed code is nothing but source code. Now what this Git branch contains is that copy of source code. Now here inside my GitHub, I have a repository called Prism repo. Inside this, I have a branch named master. When we create any GitHub repository, by default, a branch will be created and the name of the branch is master. See here, if I click on this drop down, I'm able to see only one branch and this is the default branch. Now, this branch has these many source code files. For example, just think that these are the files where I have written my project related code and it has six commits. Now, I want a copy of this code. The next question, why I need a different copy of my code? When I already have a copy, why I need another set of copy? To understand this better, let me explain it with an example. See this picture. This is my GitHub repository. Inside my GitHub, I created a repository like this Prism repo. This is my repository where I have a default branch called master. So for this repository, two developers are connected. As there is only one branch, which is the default master branch, both the developers are connected to this branch. If they commit and push any changes, those changes will be pushed to this master branch. These two developers has worked on one functionality. For example, let's think that these people are developing a shopping website. In that, first they designed a registration page. They have completed the coding for registration page and then pushed that to this master branch inside this repository. Once they commit their code to this master branch, Using DevOps CI/CD automation, we are going to take this code and deploy that code in one of the application server. Just think that we have deployed that application in one of the development environment in this development application server. Once we deploy here, these developers will connect to this server and test their code, whether the code what they have written is working fine or not. And it is working fine. No issues are there. Now, what we have to do is the set of code, what we deployed in this development application server, the same code has to be deployed in testing environment. Why? Because here only developers has done a round of testing, a sanity testing. But when we deploy the same code in testing environment, our testers will test the application thoroughly, including positive and negative test cases. They'll test that application thoroughly. Till this point, there are no issues. It is fine. But in one of my previous videos, I explained you about Agile methodology and DevOps important in Agile methodology. What Agile says is instead of developing the entire application and releasing it after six months or a year, we have to release the application feature by feature. So if we are developing a shopping website, instead of developing the entire project and releasing it, first we will release the registration page and then we will release the sign-in page. 
then they will add some products to that website then we will add payment option to that like this we are going to release feature by feature now as part of our first release we developed a registration page and then we have that code here we deployed that in development environment and the same copy we moved into testing application server if there are no issues in testing environment then we will move it to production where our end users will be using the application that is fine but in agile methodology once we implement a functionality then again i have to take next functionality and start working on that now the set of code what i have here i have deployed in this testing environment now my testers are testing it just think that they may need two days to complete the testing but in these two days my developers should not sit idle they have to start working on the next functionality for example just think that it is a sign in functionality so these developers started working on the sign in functionality and they moved the same code to here now my testers are testing here with the old copy of this code but now my developers started writing code for second functionality and moved the same code here now as per my devops automation flow i'll take this code and deploy it in testing environment what will happen here is my testers are not getting a stable code when they are testing the registration functionality related code now my application next feature has been deployed here which is sign in page because of this sign in functionality my previous functionality which is a registration that is not working here this latest changes what my developers are moving here that is disturbing testing now what i have to do is what if i have a functionality to maintain a separate copy of code let me explain this scenario with branching strategies first my developers completed a registration functionality and move the code here once if i deploy the same code in development environment once my developers test their code here and if they feel that everything is fine instead of deploying this code directly to testing environment i'll move this copy of code to another branch it is nothing but another copy of code now this code i'll deploy it in testing environment when my testers are continuing testing this code which is deployed here my developers are not sitting idle they keep working on the second functionality and they move their code to this master branch which is another copy so there is no disturbance between these two branches my testers are testing a copy of code which is from this branch now my developers are committing their second functionality code here once my developers are done with their functionality we will deploy that in dev environment test it by this time my testers completed their testing in this testing environment that is nothing but testing server now this second functionality i'll move it to this testing branch now it has both sign in and registration related codes now i'll deploy this here so there is no dependency or relation between these two copies of codes next my developers will continue their third functionality of code and commit here if there is any issue found in my testing environment that will be assigned as a defect to the developers they'll work on that and again they'll move their code to this master branch then we can move a copy here now once we have tested that functionality in testing environment and if everything is found working fine then we'll move the copy from this branch to another branch that is production branch now we will deploy this into production environment like this we need different copies of branches this is one of the example i am explaining for better understanding i hope with this we all understood what is branch and why we need branches still if you have any confusion in this mention your query in the comment section below i'll try to respond to you as soon as possible now one more point we have to observe here here i said all the developers will be connected to this master branch by default it doesn't mean we have to use this master branch only for development server it is up to us we can create a number of branches and we can use any branch for any environment in general we use this master branch for production we will create branches like development testing pre production master master branch will be used for production development branch will be used for development environment testing branch will be used for testing pre prod branch will be used for pre production and then master for production like this we use and we no need to have 
development, testing, pre-production, production, like this many number of environments. We may have more than this or less than this. That is up to us. That completely we have to decide in our organizations. Now we understood it theoretically. Let me explain them with a practical. See here, this is the repository we created in one of our previous sessions. If I see here, there is a branch called master, which is nothing but a default branch. If I click on this arrow button, here it is showing master, which is default branch. And it has six commits and it has three files. Now I want to create another branch. How to create another branches? Just go here, give some name. I want to create a branch called testing. Once we give the name, here it is showing create branch testing from master branch. One point to remember here is when we are creating a new branch, we cannot create an empty branch. We have to create this branch from some other branch. Here, my from branch is master branch. It means whatever the changes present inside my master branch, that will be copied to this testing branch. It means testing branch will have a same copy of files which are there in this master branch. I have given my name and I'm going to click here, create branch testing from master. That's it. My branch created. Here I'm able to see the testing branch. If I click on this arrow, I'm able to see two branches, master branch, testing branch. Now this testing branch has same commits what were there in master branch, six commits. Now, if I go and modify any file in my master branch, that change will not be affected in this testing branch. Let me show you. I'm going to master branch. I'm going to modify this file. Click on edit. I'm going to write as modified in master branch. That's it. I'm going to commit the changes. This commit is similar like how we do git add commit. Here, if you want to give any message, you can give it. If you don't give any message, it will pick the default message like update my first file.txt. Now I'm going to click on this commit changes. See here, my change has been committed. Now, if I go to this repository, here I'm able to see seven commits under my master branch. Whereas in my testing branch, still I'm able to see only six commits here. This file is not modified. Like this, we can maintain a separate copy of source code using branches. Now, one more point to remember here. If I want to create another branch, like I want to create pre-prod. See here, it is showing create branch pre-prod from master. When we create a new branch, it doesn't mean that we always has to create a new branch from master branch. It's not like that. I want to create this pre-prod branch from testing branch which has only six commits. My master has seven commits. I don't want this pre-prod to be created from master. I want this to be created from testing branch which has six commits. Then what you have to do is you have to select testing branch here. Now if I click on this, where is this tick mark on testing branch. Now if I give the branch name as pre-prod, see here it is showing creating branch pre-prod from testing. I click on this, see my pre-prod branch got created with six commits. Now I have total three branches, master, testing and pre-prod. Now you understood right how to create new branches. I hope with this we all understood what is git branch, why we need git branches and how we use them in our real world. In our next session, we will be discussing how to connect to a GitHub repository to a specific branch and how to commit the changes. For example, these two developers has to commit to a specific branch called master and commit the changes. After some time, they want to switch from master branch to some other branch and now they want to commit the changes to this testing branch. How we can do this? That we will see in our next session. Along with that, we will see how to move the changes from one branch to other branch. For example, few developers connected to this master branch and made some commits like 10 or 15 commits. Now, I want to move that changes to testing branch. How to move them? That we will see in our next session. Along with this, we will be discussing lot many concepts in our further videos. Please subscribe to our channel to get further updates. Thank you. Stay tuned.